Hi, I'm Nina and welcome to another chair yoga video. In today's practice, we work with the stress response again, this time turning it on by lengthening the exhale. A few weeks ago, we did that with that hum. This time we're gonna try it with a counted breath. Additionally, we're gonna work with that tension that's resident in the head, neck and shoulders and try and make it move out. With the weather the way that it has been, you may have been shoveling or you may be hunching into the cold if you go outside. So we're gonna work with some things to soften that tension there. Grab your chair and let's get started. We'll get started on our chair and let's have that support underneath our feet so that when we sit back, our feet are still connected to the earth. Sit back into your chair. Let's turn the palms up and give those shoulders a chance to come down from the ears even as we start. And then pause for a moment and just check in with how the body feels. And you can soften or close your eyes. But notice how head, neck and shoulders are. And then turn your attention to your breath. Work to even it out so that those inhales and exhales are the same length. And they're slow. Today, as I said, we're going to work with a count with our breath. So however you're breathing right now, we're going to add a four count to the inhale and a four count to the exhale. Now we're all going to be breathing at a little different rate and that's okay, but I'm going to share my count with you just so you understand what it is we're doing. So it's an inhale, two, three, four, and an exhale, two, three, four. And I'm just continuing like that. And it might be that I can Slow that breath down a little more, or maybe not, doesn't matter. But I'm coming with that even four count on my inhale and my exhale. Now on our next exhale, let's make it a five count. So it's an inhale to four. Exhale, five. Inhale, four. Exhale, five. Four, three, two, one. Inhale. Try a six. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four. Exhale, six, five, Inhale, and just allow the breath to come naturally now. No need to count. And pause and notice how that makes the body feel. Now we'll bring right palm to heart center, put left palm on top of that, and take a moment to set an intention for this practice. It might be the word calm, or it might be anything else that's important to you today. And then release those hands back down to your lap. And we're going to move to the edge of the chair now. So I'm going to put my support, my block away off to the side or underneath the chair. I'm going to bring both feet to the floor and um, they're about hip distance apart. So my thighs are parallel. I'm sitting up tall. It's really important that we have that length in the spine. Let's bring our hands to heart center. Notice which one's on top. And it doesn't matter which one it is because we're going to be alternating. 
But let's come back to that even counted breath. So as we inhale, it's a four count inhale, arms open wide, exhale, four count exhale, palms come back, perhaps they switch. Do it again, inhale, four count in, four count exhale. Inhale, four count. Five count exhale. Four count in. Five count exhale. Four count inhale. Six count exhale. One more like that, four in, six count, exhale. Release the palms back down to the left, palms up. Sit up tall, just notice how that feels. Does it have a calming effect on the body? That's what we're working with. Now let's do a little check-in with head, neck, and shoulders. We're gonna take our arms out wide, palms are up, palms are flat, thumbs are reaching behind us. So we're not trying to like pull those shoulder blades together. Now we're just finding where these arms are. It's an external rotation of that upper arm, that humerus. Notice how this feels. And then try and tip, so if you have like two glasses of water or two glasses of wine, whatever it is on your palms, Tip the thumbs back so that they fall. The water falls, the wine spills. And then come on back. And we'll bring those hands back to your lap. So that's just a little check-in to see how that feels, whether it's stiff or not. And we know that there is synovial fluid that surrounds each, each joint. And when it gets cold like this, or when we don't move as much, because we're indoors a lot more, that uh, synovial fluid kind of thickens and gets gooey. And so as we move, it starts to loosen up and we have a little more uh, flexibility, a little more ease in the joints. So we're gonna work with that with our neck today. Now we know that we have to be very kind and gentle to the, to the muscles in the neck, to those uh, vertebrae in the neck. The first thing we're, that we're gonna do is a little yes, no movement. I'm gonna turn to the side here so that you can see me, but that big knobby one right there, that's your C7. And I'm gonna put my two fingers right on top just to, to show you that when we, say when we lift up the chin in our yes, we don't wanna crush those fingers. I want you to think more of like you're a giraffe and you're lifting your chin. So it's not a this, no, that would crush your fingers. It's a, it's a lengthen of the spine. Now the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to work to keep the palms up. And notice, put your palms down right now. Notice how that feels in the shoulders. And then as you turn the palms up, there's, it's subtle, but there is a release and you get a little more length there, a little more drop in the shoulders so that the neck can lengthen. So palms up and let's take, let the inhale lift that chin, think giraffe, and exhale, come on back down. And we're moving back to those slow and even breaths, but we don't need to count. Keep your eyes open if you like, just tracking with your eyes, or if you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes and just notice what's going on inside. Now the next time, let's do one more round of a lift. The next time that the chin is down, let's stay here. So dropping that chin to the chest, letting the head be heavy, letting the shoulders soften and drop. Palms are still up in the lap, feet are still connected to the earth. Breathe. And then we're gonna lift up that chin again, lengthening that spine like a giraffe, push into the feet, push into the sitting bones. Get as long as you can, and then return to normal. Okay, 
take a moment, maybe soften those shoulders. And now we're going to do no. Now when we do no, we tend to come forward a little bit, no, 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 like that. <laughs> Think about this one like, heck no, like something smells bad and you're backing up. So think about the back of that head pushing against the wall behind you. Already you can see I'm back a little bit farther. So now this is where we're going to take the no, the inhale. And as we exhale, we turn the head to the right, trying to get away from that terrible smell. Inhale, center. Exhale, smells bad, turn your head to the left, okay? So no, nothing smells, but we're pretending that it does. We're working with that slow, even breath. Slow movements to help warm up that synovial fluid, keep things moving. We'll take one last turn to the left. then return to center. Pause for a moment. Okay, moving to maybe. Maybe's a fun one. Let's take right ear down to right shoulder, drop it there. Now let's pay attention to what's happening with the shoulders. It's very natural that this shoulder wants to move up, you know, they want to be together. No, they don't need to be together. This shoulder also tends to hike up. Let's try and keep both shoulders down as right ear reaches for right shoulder and then bring it back up. And the exhale takes it in the other direction. Inhale. And exhale. These nice slow movements opening up into the side of the neck. Releasing tension there. We'll take one more over to, let's go to the right. Let's leave it here at the right. Rest here. Think about where those shoulders are. Are your palms still face up in the lap? If not, flip them around. Let this head hang heavily. Let the shoulders drop. And then take the two fingers, pointer and middle finger of your right hand, bring them to your temple. Push that head up. Take an inhale. Exhale, let it go the other way. And just breathe here. Big stretch into the side of the neck. And then take the pointer finger and the middle finger of that left hand, take it to the temple, push that head back up. Take a breath, notice. Okay, now this next one, we call it turtle and double chin or triple chin. You call it whatever you want. We'll just do a couple of these. So turtle, we reach forward. It's a lot of strain on that neck and that upper back. Pull it back. Do another one. We'll do one more and then pause. Okay, now take a few circles with those shoulders and we're gonna come into locomotive. So arms are forward, palms face each other, thumbs are up. And let's just take a few down and back and up and forward. So we're making some circles here. Notice what this feels like. And then pause and take it the other way so those shoulders come forward, up, back, and down. We're still sitting up tall. And then pause, let the hands rest, palms down in your lap right now. And take a moment to notice everything going on in the head and the neck and the shoulders. How are things now? Now, with our hands on our laps, let's take a little cat and cow here. <clears throat> hands on lap, palms down. Inhale, fill up the belly, arch the back. Again with the neck, think giraffe. 
And exhale, tuck the tail, round the spine, drop the chin. Inhale, fill up, open. Exhale, round and empty. We'll do one more. And then come back to neutral. Okay, and a little bit of a lateral stretch now. So let's take it to a cactus arm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Inhale, sit tall, and as we exhale, let's lean over to the right. So keep it into the cactus. That means that the stretch is really just in the rib cage. Come back to center, and exhale, take it the other way. Do it again. Leaning to the right. Come to center and lean left. And return to center. Float those arms down. <clears throat> okay. So now we're going to take it to cactus, and instead of moving side to side, we're going to move it front to back. Let's see how that feels. Coming to our cactus pose, and let this be very strong now. The elbows are in line with the shoulders, so there's a little bit of work here. Fingers are reaching for the ceiling, palms are forward. This will be our inhale. As we exhale, let's bring those forearms towards one another, and you'll notice the palms turn towards me. Pinky fingers touch. Notice what's going on with the shoulder blades, how they're separating in the back. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring them back together. Now, we can add in the chin if we like. We can inhale, open, giraffe neck, look up. Notice how my palms open here. And as we exhale, we bring those forearms together. Pinkies touch, we can drop the chin. Let's do two more. And then pause here. Sit up tall with the spine. Chin is neutral. And we've got these forearms together. And now we're going to take the palms together. Forearms are still touching. And there is a lot of work happening right now. So we've got the pinky fingers touch. And then we bring the palms together. Now, if the space between your uh, forearms separates, you might want to grab your block. You could hug onto it like between here, or you can grab a, um, a towel, roll up towel, roll up towel. So we do that just to re remind ourselves that there is work happening, that these forearms are trying to come together, and that's what's loosening tension in the back right now. So let's just take two more breaths here. And then we're going to release those arms back out to cactus, float them down, shake them out. Whew. Okay. But we're going to add on to that, and it just keeps getting more and more fun, trust me. So, cactus arms, sit up tall. Bring those forearms, pinkies together in front of you. Bring palms together. And now we're going to take something that I like to call spiders on a mirror. So the palms separate, and the fingers are touching. My elbows are still working together. Lift up the elbows just a little bit, and bring them back. Let's do two more pulses. Lift and lower and lift and lower. Okay, palms come back together. Pinkies touch. Open back to cactus. Float the arms down. This is a really good practice to just pause and notice how things feel in that upper back. Now let's come back to that water bearer, that check-in place. So the arms go wide, the palms are up, thumbs are reaching behind me. Can we tip the thumbs back, drop the water? How does that feel? And let's bring the hands back to center, back to the lap. Take a circle with the shoulders, and we'll come to standing. So for today's practice, we're going to use our chair. And let's turn the chair so that we are facing the seat of the chair. And I'm just moving my block so that it's not on the floor and not a tripping hazard. So we're going to stand here in front of our chair with enough room that we can take a forward fold, bringing palms to the chair. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, soften into the knees. Bring the palms to the seat of the chair. Long spine here. 
So that same nice long spine that we had while seated, we still have while we're folded up like this. Let's take the right leg back behind us. So we're reaching the right leg back, right toes are on the ground. See how my toes are actually back there helping me to be supported. As we inhale, we're gonna take our left arm up, slide it, you can slide it up the arm, slide it across the chest and reach up. We can look up. And as we exhale, we come back down. Let's do that again. The inhale, reach up, look up, exhale, bring it back down. Third round. And this next round, we're gonna take the arm up, leave it up. Looking up, breathing here. It's a very gentle twist. And then look down, bring those hands back down, bring that hand back down, step forward to your chair. One at a time, bring the hands to the thighs, soften into the knees, let's come up to standing. Take a breath, notice how that feels. Now we're gonna do the other side. I'll move my chair around so that I can um, still talk to you. So same thing, same thing, we stand, Oh, I'm about 12 inches from my chair. I get tall on my inhale, and as I exhale, I soften into the knees, hinge forward, and bring my hands to the seat of the chair. And you notice I needed to adjust a little bit. That's fine. This time we take the left toes back. Left toes go back, the toes curl under. They are helping to support me. So I have this whole foot, my right foot, and all five toes on my left. Weight shifts into my left hand, which is underneath my left shoulder. And as I inhale, I reach that arm up. Exhale, bring it back down. Now, we can slide that hand up the arm. That might feel good to you or across the chest. Or you may say, no, I don't want to do that. Either way is good. We float the arm down then. Third round. Next time that the arm is up, we stay there. Breathe. Let the shoulders be soft. Look down, bring your hand down. Step that back foot forward, soften into your knees one at a time. Bring one hand to each thigh, push into the feet, come up to standing. Take a roll of the shoulders. Okay, I'm gonna move this chair back and I'm gonna face the chair back now. I'll take it at a little angle. And from here, let's come into a warrior one. So let's step back with our right foot, the left knee bends. So I'm in my warrior one, I feel very stable here. I have room for my hips to kind of even out here. My back heel is down, it's a warrior one. And we're taking it to cactus arms today. So remember what we did with that nice tall spine, we brought those pinkies together in front of us. Don't worry, we're not gonna do spiders this time. So we feel that separation on the back. And now as we inhale, let's open those elbows wide. Let's lift the chin, let's lift the chest and come into a little back bend. Breathe here. Straighten up the spine, bring those arms back to a neutral cactus. Let's bring the hands back to the chair and step forward. And we'll do the other side. So stepping back with left leg, the right knee bends, my back heel is down, right knee is bent, I've got room, my hips are pretty pretty stable, pretty level here, this feels good. And I know that I've got this chair here if I need it. So we take it to the cactus. My elbows are the same height as my shoulders. Take an inhale, tall spine, and as we exhale, we match those forearms and pinky fingers. And then on our next inhale, we open those cactus arms wide, lifting chest, lifting chin. Think giraffe. Breathing here in this nice big back bend. Cool. 
crown of the head reaches for the ceiling, cactus arms come to neutral. We'll bring those arms forward to the back of the chair and we'll step forward. Take an inhale here and an exhale. And just pause and notice how you feel. So we will return to our chairs now, sitting on the edge of the chair. Our feet are on the floor and that that support is close by because we'll need it when we finish. But one last thing I'd like to do is work on lengthening that exhale again and we're going to add it to a twist. So let's reach our arms forward softly. Palms are up and imagine that you're holding something very dear to you, whatever it is that you need right now, whether it is calm or peace or warmth. We'll take an inhale here, and as we exhale, we're gonna take that left hand and bring it across to right shoulder, taking a twist. Right hand just goes behind us. But we're installing that, that uh, gift right here. Let the inhale bring you back to center, and as we exhale, we're gonna take it the other way. And return to center, okay? So that's the way we're gonna do it, and we're gonna work with that counted breath. So we inhale to a count of four, Exhale, four. Inhale, four. Exhale, four. Inhale, four. Exhale, five. Inhale, four. Exhale to a count of five. Inhale, four. Exhale, six. Inhale, four. Exhale, six. Inhale to a count of four. Release those hands back down to your lap. Let's move back onto our chair. Let's find that support for our feet. And let's sit in that calm feeling right now. Palms are up in the lap. And just notice how wonderful the body feels right now. Let go of the counting. Let go of the management of the breath. And just be here. We'll softly blink open the eyes if they're closed. And we'll bring a little bit of movement back into the head and neck. That nice, smooth movement. And then we're going to shift the body forward, bringing the feet back to the floor. Let's take one last check in with that water bearer pose. How does this feel now? Palms are flat, thumbs are reaching back. Can we tip back the water any easier? And then we'll bring those palms together at heart center. Let the thumbs rest on the sternum. Recall the intention that you set at the beginning of our practice. And then we'll release those hands back down to your lap. Take care, my friends. Stay warm. And I'll see you again soon.